Hey everybody, Ice Valkyrie here. Um, it's just a little small message. Well, it's going to be a little short message. Um, yeah. um, basically, I'm just going to do a small report on um, conventions I've been going to lately. Um, I don't know if you know, but I attended PAX recently, PAX East 2014. I went to PAX last year. It was amazing. Of course, this year it was incredibly different from last year. Um, just small things to say about that. It was incredibly different. Um, wasn't too impressed by the fact that they didn't have that much AAA titles involved, but I was really, really impressed by the amount of independent titles that were there. So all the indie games was a blast to actually go and see that. Um, some of the titles that I came out with were really freaking awesome, so I'll be posting those up for you guys right now. Okay, so, um, yeah, so those are really cool, uh, games to check out, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun playing at their booths and checking out all the cool stuff that was there. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I know you were probably expecting me to have my costumes and stuff I got on uh, for that convention. Unfortunately, I wasn't finished my huge armor in time for that convention, so I decided not to wear it. And I decided to just have fun and enjoy the rest of my convention for the PAX. And it was. It was a great time. I had really lots of fun with people there. Um, most of my friends and stuff like that. I got to meet some pretty cool people as well. Um, hanging out in lines with some, some awesome dudes and chicks and everything like that. And um, we got to see some of the, uh, the latest videos and latest trailers for new things and everything like that. So one of the ones that we sat in on was the um, Civilization panel. And that ended well because uh, they're expecting some great new stuff coming out of that one. Um, space, yes. Space is going to be great. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all I have to say about PAX, though, because, um, the rest you can basically read up on that on my Tumblr page. Um, so look me up in the Ice Valkyrie. I think it's uh, listed under Ice Valkyrie 7, but yeah, anyways, icevalkyrie7.tumblr.com, something like that. Anywho, so main, one of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because I wanted to do a small update on Costume Con. Because, um, I've been planning this convention f since last year, actually two years ago to be honest, because CostumeCon, as you know, does not come to Canada very often, and um, being from Canada, um, it's just so great to actually experience a convention that celebrates uh, costuming, and um, everybody who loves costuming and cosplay like would absolutely love this convention and uh, when I heard about it, it was basically told by most of the people that were running it and everything like that and I got interested in it through my friend Trixie because Trixie loves this kind of stuff and I love it too so <laughs> I was very intrigued by what she was telling me about all the different contests and stuff that you can do at this convention and when I heard that it was actually in Toronto I was like well I gotta go to this because it's super close by. Well, six hours difference. <laughs> um, but a whole bunch of us, we decided to go because of the fact that we really thought it would be a great idea to go and do and check this out and be informed that it was great. Um, we wanted to see for ourselves. So it was a different experience just uh, going to a convention that wasn't an anime convention or wasn't a gaming convention or wasn't Comic Con or anything like that. So this was a really cool opportunity. So what I did was that basically um, in 2012 uh, I decided that I was going to be uh, starting on my Skyrim project which was basically a huge thing because I was like hell I'll just go for it and try to see what I can do because by then I would already like seen awesome armor from other people by Camway and stuff like that so I got really inspired by her and I got inspired by different people online for their armors and stuff like that so I said I'd give it a try so I'd give new challenge you know um, see if it'll turn out great and everything so I decided to make it for that specific convention because I mean it's a costume convention and it's not like it's just a regular um, a regular 
convention basically. So um, for this costume convention, basically it's an international level. Um, you're being judged by actual the ICG, which is the International Costuming Guild. So I decided to enter their sci-fi masquerade for that. And um, I'll tell you guys about my building process um, for my Skyrim armor in another video. But for now, for Costume Con, <laughs> um, basically it was the most wonderful convention I've ever been to. Honestly, uh, I, I would say that about PAX as well because my other side of my life is gaming and this side is my costuming. So dividing the two, they're both wonderful conventions. And I have to say that Costume Con was excellent. It was just mind-blowing. I came out there so inspired by so many costumes that I saw that weekend. I honestly, I was fabricated because of the fact that there were so many awesome costumes. You will not see any other convention have such wonderful costumes like Costume Con. I'm telling you right now, it is of all age groups, um, from the really old generation to the newer generation, um, you're seeing people from maybe their 80s that are there, and then you see people like us who are in our 20s, and then there's kids that are like maybe like really, really young. Obviously, it's the kids that like belong to the parents and everything like that to come to these conventions, but I mean, it was just unbelievable. It was like one giant fashion show, one giant masquerade after another, after another, after another. Honestly, it was so cool because there was competitions for, you got historical masquerade, which is anything to do with history. So um, I'll be posting those pictures up soon, but they're going to be on my Facebook um, page somewhere, um, which <laughs> mind-blowing again, historical was just like, if you want to see fancy dresses, check that out, like honestly. Google it, whatever. Um, let's see, the Sci-Fi Masquerade, which is the one I took part in. Um, that was, again, really awesome. We broke a record with that Masquerade, with the most amount of participants that that convention's ever seen, like ever, and it's been going for so many years. Um, let's see, then there was the Single Pattern Contest, which is very creative in its own way, where you're given, um, basically a pattern to work with and to recreate it into your own design. And then you have, um, there's a doll contest and there's also, oh geez, now I'm forgetting everything. Um, there was the fashion show, which I also took part in, which I was so happy that I was able to be selected as one of the models for Andrew Shu, who's actually a designer for Simplicity. If you guys know what Simplicity patterns are, she's the one who makes, um, well, costume patterns and everything else for that. It's really cool. And I'll show you a picture of what I was wearing for her right now. Okay, so that's basically what I was wearing. I was wearing Daenerys from Game of Thrones. I, honest to God, want to have that pattern so I can make it myself because it was the most comfortable thing I've ever worn before. It was super awesome. Um, one of the other actual contests, though, was also, um, shoot, Future Fashion Folio. Um, it's basically you make your own designs based on the themes that they give you. So this year it was, um, a theme of monsters, myths, and legends. I submitted designs for those, but unfortunately somebody didn't take my design. Hopefully maybe I'll <laughs> recreate it in the in the following years or something like that, but uh, it's basically you make up any kind of like different like monster myth or whatever. So there's a whole bunch of different designs that would people recreated through other designs that are up there. So let's just say there's like fairies and like a Loch Ness monster type thing or um, like a spider type deal. There's like different stuff that was really really cool. Um, I didn't get really many pictures for that, but I'm sure there's tons of other people that put stuff up there that on. Um, so this weekend was freaking amazing. Like, honestly, God, it was like just, oh my God, blow your mind, like completely, like utterly insane. 
Like, I've never seen so much amazing stuff before. And I was so blown away because um, what happened was on Friday. Yeah, we got there Friday morning. Um, you guys can read about my uh, whole experience through my Tumblr page again because I'm writing a huge report for this. But uh, we arrived on Friday and um, basically got checked into the hotel and, and did all the crazy stuff that day. Um, hung out with friends and stuff like that. Um, after that, it was like this social gathering thing at nighttime. And we all basically dressed up as like the whole monster theme and all that kind of stuff. I ended up dressing up as my elf costume with my friend Cole. Uh, with his uh, Red King outfit, so you can just check it out right here. Okay, so that was my little get up for that night. Um, Saturday, Saturday was the most, oh my god, oh. Saturday was the most nerve wracking day ever because I had to finish my armor and I wasn't exactly finished it yet. Like I thought I was done, but there were small pieces that I thought that I literally like had the time for. But I ended up like seriously I got up early that morning, like I don't know, nine AM or something, and I was literally working from like nine AM to like four or something. Yeah, I think it was like around four because the masquerade stuff was like at five, which was anyway completely um the whole day I was like spending my time in the room oh except for like the sound check we actually had a sound check oh my god that was so good yeah so normally in masquerades you don't actually have like a sound checker or like an actual like rehearsal time and we actually had one for this because it was just amazingly well done and Marie who was masquerade director for this I love you girl, you're freaking amazing, she's a good friend of mine, and oh my god, she just, she did such an amazing job for this masquerade, and I really applaud her, and I hope everybody else thanks her a lot too, because she did the most amazing job ever for the amount of entrance, we had 88 entrance, um, apparently before that we had like 90 something or whatever like that, but that's because a lot of other people just dropped out of her, but 88 people, can you imagine managing 88 people? awesome 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 and like just the amount of people that helped behind stage too was just freaking fantastic they kept us like really really well like we were taken care of let's put it that way <laughs> or at least i was taken care of uh so continue on with my story anyways uh, so yeah i was in my room for like a long time finally got to finish and oh my god my friend cole had to help me out um to actually put on my armor because my armor is like huge and there's lots of pieces and obviously I was not able to put it on by myself. Um, if you guys have seen the photos, which I will be showing after this, but um, yeah, that armor is insane. I worked like a year on it and it shows. <laughs> I actually, the funny thing is that I didn't see what I looked like in it until like I was already downstairs in the lobby and like on my way to the actual like green room I saw a mirror and then I looked at myself I was like oh that's that's what I look like and I'm like I'm like I look pretty freaking cool <laughs> anyways so yeah that's that's what happened with that but yeah um the journey getting down those stairs and just going down oh my god there was okay I'll mention it in my in my journal instead because there was these ladies that were just really rude and they butt in front of us and it took us forever to get down the escalator uh, I mean the elevator and just anyway that was the only thing that pissed me off that weekend <laughs> but anyways green room oh my gosh had to wait in there for a very 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 long time and you know me like in the armor it was like I was full on paraplegic I could not walk I was just like I was seriously like this for hours and I was sitting in a chair, and this wonderful, wonderful dead parent that I had, I, God, I, f I feel bad that I forget her name, but she took care of me so well, like, as if I was her patient in a hospital, and she was my nurse. She would get me water, she would get me drinks, she would get me food so that I wouldn't pass out in my armor, she would help me with my, she would get me my helmet and everything, so I had to take my helmet off, because I couldn't, I wasn't even capable to actually lift my arms like higher than this like honestly it was just like anyways armor people <laughs> you know what I'm talking about um 
So anyways, so waiting for that long, and then finally when it was time to go on stage, I was just like, well, I hope nothing bad happens, and that I hope, you know, that my music and everything will go well. Because, I mean, everything went well for, like, the actual rehearsals, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. And going up the stairs, lo and behold, a piece of my armor comes off of my foot, and obviously I can't reach it, so psh, you guys don't know about this stuff, I'm telling you now, but um, backstage, the freaking stage ninjas, they saw what happened, and they're like, oh, and they all jumped, and they all went to go and actually save my foot, or whatever, the little piece that came off, because there was steps going up, and there was no ramp, but, I mean, it's not really their fault, it was whoever was managing the stage step, but anyway. Um, don't want to complain about that, but anyways, I finally made it up there and it was safe and they put it back on and I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And then, the dreadedness of, okay, I have like this, this bad thing that always happens or whatever, whenever I do masquerade skits. Anyways, the audio screwed up and I'm like, how the hell does this screw up? And the only explanation that I had was basically that because they were using somebody's laptop, he must have accidentally double tapped on the mouse pad so it played, it paused, and then they played it again, but it screwed up the um, the title reading from the MC, because he didn't finish it, obviously, because I saw the video afterwards, but, um, yeah, that's basically what happened, like, it screwed up the audio at the beginning. It played afterwards beautifully, so I walked on stage, just strutted my stuff because I did a casual walk on. And then afterwards, I gave the whole signal. I was like, okay, get me off the of stage or whatever. So they got me off the of stage. So I was pretty happy about that. And I survived. And I was like, oh, am I done now? But I stuck around for a little while so that I can watch the rest of the entries because I really absolutely want to see everybody. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't see the ones that were in my den. Uh, shout out to you guys, the guys that and girls, sorry, guys and gals that were in my den. You were freaking awesome. Um, you know who you are anyways. Uh, some of the people that are actually really known cosplayers were in that group together doing their whole, um, oh gosh, what was it? It was the, um, I think it was a horoscope sign stuff. Yeah, the Zodiacs. That was really cool. Yeah, so a bunch of them were doing that. And then there was this really cool uh, Rapunzel guy who did Hauntons. And there was this beautiful gown one of the girls was wearing that was in front of me. And I'm trying to remember the other ones. But, uh, oh, my friend Jess. She's doing like Assassin's Creed stuff. and I think it's from Assassin's Creed. Oh my god, Jess. I hope I, hope it, I said it correctly. Is it Assassin's Creed? I don't know. Anyways, um, shoot me later. Um, but... Yeah, this is like super freaking awesome, cool people that I really want to see. And I got to see them afterwards because, yeah, again, the yeah, Masquerade video was, um, it showed that. Um, but yeah, after the whole Masquerade thing, I just was like, get me out of this armor. So I went upstairs into the hotel room and I started ripping off all the armor. I was like, ah. And I was having my friend menu actually, and, oh my god, my arms actually got stuck, like the arm guards got stuck because my ha my arms like inflated um, after being heated for a long time. So I literally had to like sort of like squeeze, I thought I was literally going to have to either saw my hand off or I was going to have to like put something so that it slips through because there was no way it was coming off. But anyways, we managed to get that off and I still have my hand, so yay! Um... What else? Let's see. That was done for the evening, so I was pretty happy about that. And after that, we went and we wanted to stick around for the awards too. Um, all that stuff, all the awards stuff, actually took pretty much all night. It was like up until actually, I was up until two a.m. that day. But I mean, the awards thing didn't take place until like twelve o'clock midnight, and. Um, I was passing in the hallways, and I wasn't really expecting anything, but, um, well, let's just say I kind of got a prize, oh my god, that freaking ribbon, yeah, so I won basically in honor of excellence, um, in the journeyman division, um, yeah, let's try that again, journeyman division, okay, 
Um, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get workmanship award. I'm still not clear, sure why somebody didn't like my stuff, but it's their opinion, I guess, or whatever, which kind of didn't make sense. Anyways, to me, um, somebody can explain it to me sometime or whatever. But uh, I was really, 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 really happy with this because, I mean, it was the ICG judges that actually made that call for that award. And I was like, well, hell, they're like way better than anybody else. Well, anyways, and they gave me this, and I was so happy, and um, I am so glad and so happy that my work actually paid off because I was scared there for a month that I wasn't going to get anything, and if I didn't get anything, I would literally cry my eyes out because it was just um, blood, sweat, tears, whatever, and uh, that whole process that I'll say in another video, like I said. Um, but, um, yeah, just to alliterate on... Um, like everybody did such a great job. It was just fanatical. It was just like it was fantastic. Let's put it that way. It's fantastic. I'm quoting Doctor Who now because there's so much Doctor Who I saw that weekend too. Um, also inspirational. Oh my god, I want to make a TARDIS dress now. I'm so psyched about that. Later on, anyways, more more stuff later on. Um, so yeah, that was cool. I picked up that award and I'm clipping with my other ribbons that I have. Um, also, a shout out to some of my friends, Pan Am Girls, oh my god, Anne Marine and their crowd, their little group or whatever, they won their stuff too, so I'm really happy for them. They deserve it. They're the awesome Pan Am chicks, and if you look online, I'm pretty sure you'll find them somewhere. They did exact replicas of the actual full on gear, and it was super cool. Um, let's see, that was Saturday. Sunday was like, um, again, it was the historical masquerade. You guys can check out the photos there too. It was so inspiring. Oh my god, I want to make all the poofy dresses now. Um, you can't blame me. <laughs> so many great stuff. Um, oh, dealer's room. Dealer's room was freaking cool. Even though it was like small, there was a lot of cool stuff in there that you would not find out anywhere else because of the fact that it was just like little items for sewing and stuff like that. That, um, like, just little trims and everything like that. Like that you guys can get. I picked up a few things. Anyways. <laughs> but, um, no, was, the only disappointment of the actual dealer's room was the fact that nobody was actually selling any fabric. Yeah, fabric. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Sunday was great historical, um, which I feel sad about because like I planned to actually take part in some of the other masquerades that weekend, but I didn't have enough time to do it because of the fact that I was working so much in my armor. Ah, I'm crazy. Um, yeah, Sunday was that, and then Monday was of course the Dubai time and stuff like that. So it was um, uh, basically a um, fashion show thing that I happened to do and. Um, no, wait, fashion show was on the same day as the other one. Anyways, I'm mixing up stuff because it's late. And anyway, all you need to know is that Costume Con is freaking amazing. You guys should all check it out. Um, I recommend it. Um, the next one, unfortunately, I can't go to, and I don't know about the next one after that. But anyways, it's going to be back in Toronto in three years, I think. Yeah, three years. Anyways, so it's going to be back then, so we're going to have a great time with that one. Um, yeah. So next year, it's going to be in South Carolina. And then after that, I think it's in West Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin. I cannot say that word for it. Anyways. So, um, you guys should check it out online. Type in costumecon.com or something. Or just go on their Facebook page or costumecon32 actually will have that information. Because it's the same guys that are doing it. Um... If not, I'm totally lying through my teeth about it. But, um, yeah, guys, check it out. It's going to be an awesome convention. I swear to God, you guys will love it so much. Um, it will be back here in Canada again. Thank goodness. Um, another awesome announcement thing that was made at Costume Con was the fact that, and um, correct me if I'm wrong if I'm saying this too as well, but costuming has officially been recognized as an art now, people officially so globally around the world 
we're freaking art. Costuming is an art. We're going to be in the actual archives now, too. So any kind of mass parade, all that's going to be documented. This could be documented. Well, maybe not, but anything cosplay costume related, anything like that, it's going to be in the archives, which is freaking crazy. Um, which means a lot to us artists out there. I mean, it might not mean as much for the people that don't really understand this, but hopefully they'll pick it up and they'll recognize it and they'll know and it's just important as everything else in this world because honestly, for us, it's a big deal to be able to create some awesome things from it. Um, I'm rambling now. Um, so I'm going to wrap up. Okay, guys, so that was basically it for my stuff. You can check out the rest of the stuff on my actual Tumblr page, like I said. Ice Valkyrie or Ice Valkyrie 7 on <laughs> Tumblr. Anyways, I'll have it written down below in the comments section or the description of YouTube, whatever. Um, just check that out, and I'll have all the other links in there too. So if you want to check out Costume Con or whatever, like pictures, stuff, you guys can check it out on, well, you can check it out on my Instagram, or my Tumblr, or my Facebook page, or here, because I'll maybe have some stuff there too, <laughs> uh, well, I'll maybe put some photos up at the end of this blog, but anyways, um, thank you very much for joining me, my name is Ice Valkyrie, and I will see you soon with another vlog or video or whatever it is that I'm doing right now. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk about my, my Skyrim armor, well, the journey of it anyways. See you guys around. Take care.